Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, November 24th. I'm Jim Weather, Chairman of the Oswego County Legislature. Joining me today is Jody Martin, Supervising Public Health Nurse for the Oswego County Health Department. Over the past two weeks, we've seen a 53% increase in the number of positive cases in Oswego County. That is a frightening milestone and shows that our public health system is being pushed to the limit. The lack of community compliance by what is probably a minority of people is placing a burden on everyone. Today, our health department announced a partnership with area school districts on how students and staff may be notified if they are exposed to COVID-19 in a school setting. I want to thank Chris Todd, District Superintendent of Oswego City BOCES, the school superintendents, and the health department for working together on this issue. The partnership will improve COVID-19 response across the county and streamline the reporting and notification process for everyone. The new reporting and notification system will help avoid duplicated or missing information. Based on the infected person's activities in the school setting, the county health department determines who should be quarantined and the schools will notify those close contacts or their families. New York State contact tracers will follow up with daily outreach to these families or individuals. The county health department continues to notify close contacts outside of school communities throughout the county. This partnership facilitates the process of identifying and notifying close contacts. All public school districts in the county are on board. We greatly appreciate the willingness of the school districts to help in the notification process. Like many areas of the country, we are experiencing a shortage of both personal protective equipment and testing resources. We are working together to overcome these issues. Despite the widespread testing capacity shortage that many rural counties face, our local and regional partners are stepping up to help. Oswego Health's testing volume increased to an average of more than 400 daily since they expanded their testing clinics a few weeks ago. Our own health department continues to work with Upstate to bring more testing capacity. Our emergency management office has resumed weekly COVID briefings among county departments, first responders, and health care partners. This helps us identify gaps in personal protective equipment, infrastructure, and other issues, and improves communication among all partner agencies. With a drastic increase in cases over the past two weeks, our health department's preventative nurses and investigators are working every day to trace positive cases, reach out to close contacts, and protect the community. Other departments of the county are sending staff to help on the phone bank, manage databases, and other tasks. Currently, our seven-day rolling average of people who tested positive for COVID in Oswego County is 3.7%. That is down slightly from last week. And Supervising Public Health Nurse Jody Martin is here to give us more information on this week's testing and reports. Jody? Thank you, Chairman. As Supervising Public Health Nurse, it is my job to make sure our, our department is doing everything we can to prevent the spread of COVID-19 and protect our residents' health and safety. It is the responsibility that our team takes very seriously each and every second of the day. As a parent, as a public health nurse, and as a resident of this county, I implore my fellow residents to improve their preventive measures. Public health needs the public to take action. We need our community members to do their part to keep the community healthy and not let the COVID-19 virus pull us down. As of today, we have the total number tested is 76,754, total positive cases, 1,560, total active cases, 365, total released patients, 1,190, Total uh, related COVID-19 deaths are five. The total negative results is 75,068. The total quarantined or on mandatory isolation, 1,124. The safety, or the safest way to celebrate Thanksgiving this year will be to celebra celebrate with the people in your own household. Please stay home if you are sick and keep your children home if they are sick. Wear a face mask or a covering 
over your nose and mouth. Avoid non-essential gatherings of all types. Keep six feet from other people. Wash hands often with soap and water at least 20 seconds, especially before eating. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Clean and disinfect touched objects and surfaces frequently. Avoid close contact with people who are sick and call your healthcare provider from home if you are experiencing symptoms such as fever, cough, or shortness of breath. Do not go to the emergency room unless you are experiencing life-threatening conditions. Our health department continues to staff the COVID-19 COVID hotline. Anyone with questions about COVID can call the hotline at 315-349-3330 weeks, or weekdays between 8.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. Before I close today, I want to thank our health department and the health care workers, the county employees, and the essential workers in all the professions who have worked so hard to keep our community safe and bring our lives some sense of normalcy over the past nine months. All of us working together can help prevent the pandemic from becoming dramatically worse. Please keep yourself safe and take personal responsibility so we can avoid additional restrictions and future shutdowns. Thank you for doing your part to protect yourselves, your families, and your communities. Have a safe and healthy Thanksgiving.